Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the double crochet V stitch. That is the stitch that you see here. You can see that it is uh, an open stitch and it creates almost a lacy look. If you are looking for a stitch that works up quickly, that doesn't use up very yarn, and that is quite pretty to look at, you can use it in a variety of things from blankets to shawls and other accessories, this is the stitch for you. This is the double crochet V stitch. So if you'd like to crochet along with me today, grab some yarn and a hook to match and we will get started. So once you have your hook and yarn together, uh, we will get started. And just a reminder, if you are new to my channel or who have, or you've been here before, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with stitch tutorials and free crochet patterns as well. If you like this video, please give it a like, uh, comment, share it with your friends. That'd be greatly appreciated. So for the double crochet v-stitch, what you're going to do is you're going to start by making your slip knot. And then you are going to chain an even number of chain stitches. And it can be any even number at all. So uh, today for our tutorial, I'm just going to chain 14, but you can make your chain as long as you would like. and 14. And then what you're going to do to get yourself started for row one, you are going to begin by placing a double crochet stitch in the fourth chain from your hook. So to make your double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, count in four chains, one, two, three, four, and in that fourth chain, work one, uh, one double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your one double crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one and working in that same stitch, work one more double crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more. So it's going to create a little bit of a lacy V stitch here with a chain one in between those two double crochet stitches. If you would like to make uh, your V's a little bit wider, you're welcome to add more chains in between. Or I've also seen this stitch done without the chain one in between, which will give you a more closed stitch. Next, you're going to skip the next chain and then you're going to repeat double crochet in the next stitch. chain one and double crochet in the same stitch and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way across double, skip the next chain double crochet chain one and double crochet in the next stitch skip the next chain double crochet chain one and double crochet and repeat that all the way to the end of your chain. When you come to your last two chains, you're simply going to skip the next chain and finish by working one double crochet stitch in that final chain. And that is the end of row one. Next you will chain three and turn. And now continue across, work in the opposite direction, so turn your work. Now you're going to repeat that double crochet, chain one, double crochet in each of the chain ones 
all the way across. So you're no longer working into the tops of any stitches, you're just working in those chain one spaces. So for your first V, you're going to work a double crochet, you're going to skip that first double crochet and in that chain one space, work your next double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same chain one space. Skip the next two double crochet stitches in the next chain one space, work your double crochet, chain one, and in the same space, a double crochet. So continue that, working your V stitches in each chain one space all the way across. final V stitch there. When you come to your final chain three, your beginning chain three, you're going to yarn over and you're going to work your final double crochet in the top or in the third chain of that beginning chain three. And there you have it. That is row two. Now for the rest of this pattern, you're simply going to chain three turn and continue to repeat what you did there for row two. And that's all there is to this beautiful lacy double crochet v-stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. Happy crocheting! Bye!